Hey everybody, Cornerstone Equine Academy here, and today we're talking about the single pole challenge and why you should try it with your horse. For more pole exercises, groundwork ideas, and riding tips, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. There are two main benefits that this exercise will give you. The first benefit is that it will help you to refine your communication with your horse. And the second benefit is your horse's proprioceptive training. The goal of this exercise is to simply walk your horse along a single ground pole. Left feet on the left side, right feet on the right side. It sounds very simple, but it can be a lot harder than it looks. When you begin this exercise, make sure to reward your horse with a break and a pet whenever he gives you even the slightest effort. If you find that backing him up and pulling him forward and backing him up and pulling him forward begins to irritate him, take long circles around. Backing up can be physically difficult on the horse and if you do it too often, they can get quite frustrated. And once you've perfected this exercise on the ground, try it mounted next, or try backing him over the pole. So let's talk first about how this helps with your communication. Because this exercise requires your horse to place his feet in very specific places, your commands or asks of him must be very specific. If you ask too loudly, your horse will react too much and you won't get his feet where they need to go. In addition to being mindful of how loudly or quietly you're asking for movements from your horse, it also helps us figure out how to best ask our horse. Every horse is different and every horse is trained by a different person, so each one will have its preferred way of communicating. Does your horse better if you push or pull? him to walk forward, does he do so if you're facing his body or facing away from him? Are you listening to him as well as asking? What is your horse trying to tell you? The second benefit of this fun challenge is to train your horse's proprioceptive training. Proprioceptive training is the training of the position of the body in space. So for example, a football player will do cardio training for his lungs, weight training for his muscles, and proprioceptive training to increase his reflexes and coordination. This is what lets football players leap through the air and catch a football with just their fingertips because they truly understand how long their arm is and where their hand is in relation to the ball and the field. Horses naturally don't think about where their individual body parts are they see something scary and they simply run in the other direction. But when we start to ask them to extend or contract their gait, pick up a specific canter lead or jump over something, we ask them to start thinking about where their legs are. Horses aren't going to want to step on the pole or hit it with their hooves and they can't see it when it's directly underneath them, so they're going to have to think about where they're placing their feet to avoid stepping on the pole. Have you ever worked on your horse's proprioceptive training? If you haven't, do you think your horse could benefit from it? Comment below and let me know. Also be sure to jump into Facebook and share with me a video of you and your horse trying out this exercise. For a copy of my free groundwork exercise book, or to join my private Facebook group where you can have direct access to me and my over 30 years in 